I had her brought here in secret while the three of you kept our guest company. The world has not been kind to you, it is true. But that does not excuse your sins. You should be at the bottom of the river. Yet here you are, the living, breathing proof of my failure. A failure for which I would now make amends. What, what did I do? I don't remember. Was it really so terrible? Tell me, please! What did I do? You speak of sins, my lord. But at whose feet do those sins lie? With the soldiers who committed the crimes, or those who commanded them to do so? With both, I would say. For all have a conscience, and all must choose. But with no memory of who she is, or what she has done, what sin remains to be cleansed? You ask that I show mercy? I ask why the heavens saw fit to deny me my rest. Why Yotsuyu was spared not only death, but the bitter memories of her life. You truly think it the will of the Kami? If so, her life is not mine to take. It is yours to safeguard. Come the hour of the exchange, if her memories have not returned, she may remain here in Doma to live out her days as Tsuyu. But if they do, the Guardians shall have their Viceroy. Though the people will protest, they will come to accept my decision when they have been reunited with their loved ones. Thank you, my lord. Now then. I believe we have kept our guests waiting long enough. Did Gorsetsu not seem strange to you? His sympathy for your Tsuyu, pardon. I know his powers of endurance only too well, but after all he has suffered, even he should not be on his feet. He puts on a brave face for our sakes, but it would not surprise me if he lacked the strength to raise his blade. Though I suppose if he and Yotsu are to enjoy a life of peace and quiet, he will have little use for it. It falls to us to shape that future, one in which he need never again set foot on the battlefield. <laughs> 